Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you don't already know me, my name is Ben, 97 Gremlin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the R6 5SL front screen. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so what we're going to have to do first, we're going to have to undo these four bolts first. One, two, three, four. Um, they're all Phillips screwdrivers, so they're all going to have to come out. And then you come around to the back of the screen, and there's four spanners, uh, 10 mil um, nuts that are going to have to be undone. One, two, and two on the other side. One, two. So I'm just go and get undo with it, crack along with that, and then the screen should pop out. So I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so once we've undone the four screws, um, one, two, three, four, two on each side, and we undone the two nuts on each side, uh, which are actually behind the mirrors, the mirrors actually come off, so once you undo the last bolt, make sure you're holding onto the mirror so you don't let the mirror just fall off. Um, once you've done them, two, them four bolts, which are 10 mil uh, nuts, and then them four, um, Phillips screwdrivers uh, screen should just lift off so just be careful but um, it should just lift off so on each side unclip unclip as you can see is off Okay guys, I just wanted to show you uh, once the screen was actually out and um, what it actually looks like now. Um, once you undo the four uh, screws and undo the two nuts on each side of the mirrors, uh, make sure you hold the mirrors as they come out because um, when you undo the last one, they will sort of fall out. They won't completely fall out, um, but it, it could be a good chance. I just want to show you what it looks like uh, now um, and obviously behind, as you can see. So what we've got to do now, um, we've got, a, this is the new screen. Uh, the new screen will slot in, but we just need to take out the grommets, um, or whatever you want to call them, um, sort of like these rubber uh, sort of grommets. We've got like a nut on the end of them to put into each four holes from there. So let me just put this down and I'll show Okay you. guys, so this is the old screen. And uh, as you can see in here, we've got one, two, three and i've actually taken the full four now but if you just put um, a screwdriver uh, in there and just sort of push it through the other way they do come out and just got pr pretty much just manipulate them to get them out of their original holes be careful um but you don't split them or anything but they do come out not too with too much trouble so i'm just gonna take these out now and then put them straight into the new screen and i'll come back to you as i'm about to fit them back on Okay everyone, uh, I'll just literally put all these grommets in, um, they do go in, they're not too bad, I found sort of like manipulating with a screwdriver back in, just take your time, they will go in eventually, it did seem like the holes on my new shield was too small for it, but it, it will go in, just got to give it a bit of time. So now putting it back on, it's just re reverse steps, uh, slotting it back in and um, putting it all back together really so I'll do a little time lapse of doing that now so see you in a second There you go guys, it's all back together now. Um, absolutely looks stunning, absolutely love it. Especially that it's no horrible marks over it. And um, for 20 pounds, pretty much, I think it was, for including post and packaging. Yeah, it's sorted out, I'll make sure I leave a link down below of where I brought mine from. Um, it's absolutely perfect. It's not as transparent as the other one. The other one was like more of a smoke tint. This one's like fully black. But I quite like it to be honest. I think it looks nice. But anyway guys, that's it. I hope it helps you out. If you've got any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below on what it is and I'll try and help you answer it as much as best as I can. Anyway guys, I hope this video helps you. Make sure you hit the like button, comment down below and hit the subscribe button. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.